Fears of an Iranian military strike in Israel are growing. It's after Tehran accused Israel of launching an airstrike on Iran's consulate in Damascus. The attack killed three senior Iranian commanders, including one who reportedly led Iran's weapons smuggling operations in Syria. Now Israel is preparing for Iran's forces to strike. Israelis rushed to grocery stores and lined up for fuel. Government officials said they were preparing shelters in case of an attack. The country also called up reservists on leave, mobilizing the full force of the Israeli military. Israeli security forces also purposely disrupted GPS signals in Tel Aviv and other parts of the country, a tactic known as GPS spoofing. The Israeli military has used it in the north in response to rocket attacks by Hezbollah, but it's much more rare in more metropolitan areas. The practice is to throw off GPS-guided weapons. But it also threw off locations for taxis and people's map apps, incorrectly showing some Israelis to be in Beirut. Still, Israel says it's what's necessary since Iran vowed revenge after the suspected Israeli airstrike. Iran's president asserted Israel would be punished. A former Israeli intelligence head said Iran appears set on a deterrent and immediate response. And the leader of Iranian-backed Hezbollah said Iran's response is inevitably coming. But Israel's military said they are prepared for every scenario.